number of passengers using trains in the region could grow by a third over the next decade, according to expert predictions. And that means new trains will be needed. Today saw the launch of the latest ultra-modern carriages. They cost around £93 million. They're British-built and they'll replace some of the oldest bone shakers in the region. Our transport correspondent Peter Plissner has been for a ride. Not quite the same as a big car launch, but for rail users, the introduction of these trains is just as important. For London Midland, it's a big investment delivering big benefits to passengers. The whole environment of the train will feel more pleasant and more comfortable to passengers. Also, quite a lot of effort's gone into the design of this train to make it quiet. So a quieter train in terms of how it rides and tracks on the track. The new trains, which are costing £93 million, are due to carry their first fare-paying passengers next month. Are these are the trains the new Class 172s are replacing. They're the last of the old British Rail bone shakers running around the region. They're 25 years old and, not surprisingly, passengers aren't sad to see the back of them. They're just not in really good nick, really, especially when you see the trains that are all, all over the rest of the UK. I'd be glad to get rid of them and get something decent anyway. They've been falling apart for quite some while. With better access, air conditioning and much reduced noise, those travelling today were certainly impressed. Well, my first impression is that it's, it's a very, very nice train. It's bright, it's spacious, it's airy, uh, there's plenty of room for, for luggage. The arrival of the new trains means that in the last decade virtually every train running through the Midlands has been changed. First came Virgin's Voyagers in 2001, then its tilting Pendolinos took to the tracks a year later. Then the German-built Desiros arrived, also run by London Midland. 27 of the new Class 172 trains have been ordered and all are expected to be in service by the end of the year. And Peter joins us from Snow Hill Station in Birmingham, through which most of these new trains will actually run. Now, these trains are being built in Derby by the firm that last month announced thousands of redundancies, Peter. If they're building trains, why are they having to sack so many people? Well, they're sacking staff because they failed to win an order from Thameslink in London. Uh, controversially, that order went to the German firm Siemens. Now, that left staff in Derby just working on existing orders uh, rather than uh, any new orders. And, of course, uh, that's not just bad news for staff at Derby who also could lose their jobs, the remaining staff. It's also bad news for the wider supply chain. Some jobs are based here in the West Midlands as well. Peter, thank you. 300.